Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever came to the San Carlos Apache Reservation in 2005. The disease was new to San Carlos. People became sick. Several people died. It seemed to affect children more than adults. Well, I think it was back in uh, 2005. We had a couple young people, probably I think in their 30s. Um, they just passed away. They got really sick. Upon further investigation by the CDC, IHS, and members of state and tribal leadership, it was discovered that RMSF was being carried by the common brown dog tick. All early cases of Rocky Mountain had a history of contact with tick-infested dogs before becoming ill. There's, there's too many ticks. They have a huge population to where they're at the point where they're going to feed on anything that they can. So their preferred choice is a dog. San Carlos has a lot of dogs, and these dogs have a lot of ticks. As a result, people are getting sick from this new disease, and some of them have died. Although it can be a scary disease, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is completely preventable. Everyone can help prevent it, using chemicals and other supplies from stores in Globe or provided free by the tribe. To prevent Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, spray or put out tick-killing granules around your yard to kill the ticks that carry it. Put tick collars on your dogs. The collars will kill ticks and the dogs will be healthier. Spay and neuter your dogs so San Carlos's dog population doesn't grow out of control. Doxycycline is a simple, effective treatment for Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. The first symptoms appear between two days and two weeks after a bite from an infected tick. People report sudden fever and headaches. Some, but not all, report a rash. As soon as symptoms appear, a person should go promptly to the IHS hospital for treatment. Treatment is free, fast, and provided at the IHS hospital in San Carlos. It's not a good idea to tough it out or wait until the fever breaks. Doxycycline will be given by the hospital doctors if they suspect your symptoms are from Rocky Mountain. Doxycycline is safe for children and adults. It's most effective when people take it before the fifth day of fever and sickness. When you have a case of Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, or you think you do, it's best to go to the hospital. And now what IHS has set up here is automatically, if you have those symptoms, they'll test you for Rocky Mountain and they'll start you on a round of doxycycline. You can learn more about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever at www.cdc.gov slash rmsf. Let's talk about how the dog tick actually makes people sick. Ticks that live on the dogs eventually get hungry and go looking for new sources of food. They'd rather attach to dogs, but humans will do. When a tick attaches to a human, it chews through the skin to get its favorite food, blood. The tick usually doesn't start biting right away. It may be eight hours or so before it's actually fully attached and can start eating. If you can remove a tick soon after it attaches, there's less chance that it could make you sick. This is why checking yourself and your family every day for ticks may help keep you safe. As the tick is eating, it may pass the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever germ to the person it's attached to. As the germs spread in the body, People can get a fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, and stomach pain. Some report a rash or spots on the skin. Some of the symptoms sound a lot like a really bad cold. It may be only a cold, but it might be Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. If you're feeling sick, don't wait around. Get to the hospital quickly. We can prevent Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever so no one in San Carlos gets sick with it again. Community action can make a difference. In 2012, the San Carlos tribe decided to do something about RMSF. The RMSF rodeo started out as a test to see what would work to kill ticks and stop RMSF. 
what we learned can help the whole reservation. But for a program to work, everyone in the community needs to participate, not just a few houses and not just people with dogs. Preventing Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is as simple as one, two, three. One, spray your yard. Homeowners can treat their own yards using chemical sprays or granules that kill ticks. Yards need to be treated at least once a month. One treatment is not enough. The RMSF rodeo treated yards in May, June, July, and August when tick numbers were high. These products can be purchased at the hardware store. Spray where ticks like to live, near the foundation, near where dogs rest, and in shaded areas away from bright sunlight. Let the spray dry for about 30 minutes before walking around the sprayed area. The chemicals kill ticks quickly and once dry are not harmful to kids, adults or pets. If you put out granules instead of using a spray, wet the granules down with a garden hose. They must be wet to kill ticks. Professional animal control teams can also visit your home for free and spray for ticks. Just call 928 475 2798 extension 1102 to make an appointment. 2. Put tick collars on the dogs. Every dog in the community that's older than three months needs a tick collar, which kills ticks. This was the most important finding of the RMSF rodeo. Tick collars are available from animal control. Choose one that lasts as long as possible. Check the box. Most collars last at least a few months. The Soresto collar lasts eight months. The collars can be adjusted to various sizes and dogs are comfortable with them. If all dogs are wearing tick collars and have no ticks on them, there is less chance that people will get Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Healthier dogs means healthier people. Three, spay and neuter your dogs. The RMSF rodeo showed that spaying and neutering dogs in a community helps. We've seen how many dogs there are in San Carlos. If we spay and neuter our animals, they'll be healthier, less aggressive, and live longer. And with a smaller dog population, there'll be fewer ticks to cause Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Once a year, the RAVS program comes to San Carlos and provides spaying and neutering for free. Call 928 475 2798, extension 1102, to learn more. That's the three point program. Many people from San Carlos and elsewhere are working hard to make sure that you stay healthy. It's, it's truly a community health issue. There's no doubt. It, it, there's, it's multifaceted. And I have never, ever seen such a concerted, coordinated effort as I've seen here. Now I think we're having more of an organized effort. People are well, more educated. I definitely, definitely believe that RMSF is completely preventable. You know, a it was the year to doctor it out now. Now, last time, a it doesn't need you. Suck a team, she would tell you, a is a year treatment. Now, says Lahi.